Hey, VFC family. We've had a lot of questions about when is VFC going to reopen and allow people to attend services in person? So I wanna answer some of those questions for you. Uh, I wanna thank you for being a fantastic, wonderful online congregation. Y'all have done a wonderful job making comments and staying plugged in and, and just helping our community and everything. And so this has been a good season, but we're excited about the next phase. So let me talk to you about the three phases of reopen that we're gonna be doing. Now, first of all, I'm not gonna be going over all the details. I'm gonna be hitting the highlights in this video. All the details can be found at vfcthomasville.org slash reopen. So come on inside. Let me show you some of the changes. So first of all, here in the foyer, you'll see it looks just like it normally does, okay? And we do have uh, a hand sanitizing station right here. We also have some hand sanitizer over here on this side. The bathrooms will be open, but we're asking that you use extreme caution and you don't go in there unless you have to, all right? Let's go into the sanctuary and let's see what's gonna be happening here. Now, when you arrive for one of our in-person uh, services, you're gonna be greeted by an usher. They'll be wearing a mask. You don't have to wear a mask if you don't want to, uh, but they will for your own safety. Uh, and then you'll be seated from front to back. All right, and we will be seating people based on their family size. So as you come further in here, you're gonna see the seats look a little different than we're used to. We've actually separated out our seats in groups of two, three, and four. These can be adjusted depending on the size of your family. As you come here, you'll be seated in the grouping that makes the most sense for your group. This will allow you to sit next to your family or whoever you quarantined with, but you'll still maintain a six foot distance uh, in, in all directions to make sure that we're compliant with CDC guidelines. All right, now here's the deal. Uh, as in order to accommodate everyone, we're gonna have to take RSVPs. This means that you are going to register you and your family to attend different services. So we need to know who's coming because we can only seat around 100 people in our worship center now. So that means that you are going to go to vfcthomasville.org slash reopen, and that's where you can register for different services. Let's talk a little bit about timelines. Now, the first test run for our in-person services is going to be May the 24th. That's not the 17th that's coming up at the time of the shooting of this video. It's the next Sunday, May the 24th. We're only gonna have one in-person service at 11 a.m. This is to make sure that we work all the kinks out and everything works as the way it's supposed to, okay? Now, the, the Sunday after that, May 31st, we're gonna have two services and we're gonna be able to accommodate at least 200 people who want to come and enjoy these services, okay? Now, here's the deal. I'm asking that if you are over the age of 65 or if you have pre-existing conditions that make you more susceptible uh, to this pandemic, please wait until phase two to begin to register for in-person services. Um, also, we won't have childcare during phase one. Childcare will kick in during phase two, all right? We know this is a little bit different, but we're all just gonna love each other through this, okay? Uh, now, I encourage you guys, you know, you've done a wonderful job, as I said, uh, being a virtual church. And I know you're going to do a wonderful job of kind of easing into this reopen process. If you have questions, feel free to reach out to me, Cynthia, Tim, or Eric. And be sure to visit bfcthomasville.org slash reopen. We also uh, have this information on our church app. And of course, you can always email us or call the church office. We love you guys, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.